Hi everyone, Mr. Mythos here, welcome. Um, let's do another draft run. Currently uh, 29 perfect runs. We had a perfect run last uh, round with double double mist on Vernus, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can uh, get another one. At least if I have a good run. Ooh, Legion Commander right off the bat. Um, yeah, I guess I do have to take that, right? It's the, probably the best red hero. Um, other than that, we see some nice black cards, double Glody, Hipfire is decent, Keen Fork is definitely playable. Um, and Steel Strength is okay as well. But I think I'll take an Glody here, it's just uh, a bit better than the rest. Very nice hero early on. Oh, Lich. That would even be better. I think I like Lich more than uh, Legion Commander. Um, definitely. Wow. Who, who skipped on Lich? I wonder. I think I will go Cleric Arm here. Definitely two good green cards. Really shame about uh, the Lich though. Imagine our third pack still being able to pick Lich. Um, here I think we'll go with Satir. I'm doubling between... Oh, couple of Burning Wild is okay. But not too amazing. Okay, and Assault is okay, but not too amazing. Uh, Payday can be okay. And the Cloak is a very good item, of course. I think we take, that's difficult, I think we take a burning oil here, just because we already know we're gonna play red. We take a compel and a gas of rising anger. Together with burning oil and some synergy. Maybe we play it. These are all pretty bad. And these are actually playable I guess. Um, PA, I think PA is one of the, well it's not as good as Lich, or Sniper, um, but I think PA is quite good here. I'm not sure if we should take Slay or something else, or like a Legion Bearer or something, but it's also very good. Um, but I, I like Slay here. Let's cut that. Dimensional Portal. Um, I guess we take a Salamania here. We're kind of going in all colors now, but let's leave our options open for now. Um, Disciple. And I like the Rain. I think these two red cards are playable, but they're not great, so... Um, yeah, and the same for these two. So, and, and the ring is a really good item. So we take a take a tower barrage and a crippler. These are all pretty bad. And these as well. Um. Yeah, let's cut the bad items and cards. So we're kind of still going in all colors, which is not great. But we do almost have 19 cards, so we can definitely cut something. Um, I think the Legionnaire is the best card here, by far. And then we have to decide between the Rebel, Divine Intervention, I do like Divine Intervention more, I think. Or maybe Payday. But I think these two are, are fine for now. Another Dimensional Portal. And another Arm. 
or a balanced flame. Well, it's difficult. Because we really do have good green quality as well. Double dimensional portal is also quite good. And a double ring. I think I can take double arm. I don't see a yeah, Slay is also good, but we already have one. Let's, let's do this for now. I'm gonna take a helm. And an apprentice, I think. Or clear the deck. I think clear the deck is actually better. Yeah, doing four cleave is good, and if you have two heroes in the lane, it's like really good. Well, I guess it's fast. So we just take some expensive items. Maybe if you get another payday now, you might take it. These are really bad. And that's not good either. Mist. This kind of means we have a preferences, preference to play green now. And I think the Ogre, these are just the two good ones. I'm not picking the Skyrath because I think at this moment we don't want to play blue, even though we have double dimension up on. Uh, Miss is just one of the best cards. Although it goes really well with. Uh, a duel actually works with Rising Anger. It's a pretty good splash like this. Taking a Clody and a Cleric here. And a Legionnaire. Maybe uh, I do like the Blade more. Another Dimensional Portal. We might actually cut Black. Do we take Abaddon? No, I don't I don't think so. With Mist you wanna have the have creeps, so you do wanna have the, the Prowlers. We can take a full or murder plot. I think a murder plot is fine in this case. Rebel is okay. Below. Viper is bad. I really don't want to be running double, uh, double green, uh, double father. I think we take a blink dagger here though and a satyr. It looks like we have enough for two green, two red and a black or blue. Triple dimensional portal. It's good with the mist. Tide hunter. Oh con flag. So we just go rainbow. And we have a triple dimensional portal and a con flag. All the blue cards are amazing. Do we take Tide Hunter? The Kraken Shell has good synergy with Rising Anchor. Do we play it? If you take Intimidate, do we play it? I don't think so. If you take two Farmans, we have. Uh... Do we take. Uh... Do we actually play the Viper? Not sure. Let's go with Dow Rush for now. I have another. Really doubting whether we should take the Tide Hunter. Which means we'll be playing. We can play one green, one blue. Ah, but Keith is also fine, right? And this. It's not great actually, we're kind of missing red cards. Maybe we can do one, two green and one of the rest of the colors. I'm not sure yet. Kana. <laughs> it's very good with uh, mist. I think we take uh, Kana here. Not sure if that means we go. Yeah. Prey on the week is quite good as well. If 
Six Pot Weekend or something, or Relentless. So we're never gonna run two black heroes, and I think this, these eight cards are really good for black. So we don't really need Relentless, so I think Spot Weakness is a nice cycle. It's a weird run. Enough magic, maybe. <laughs> a Book of the Dead is really good with Kana, I guess. Uh, this is uh, becoming really weird. Usually you want to do it like that. We're at least going to run a farm. Um, the question is what do we definitely run one black. And we definitely want to run farm because Mist of Avernus is so strong. And Arm is really good with Kana as well. Um, question is do we want to green or to... We don't need some remaining, we have no late game. So do, you, do we run double green or double red? Let's remove the, the bad red cards and then I think it will be clear that we'll double green is better. I think. Intimidation, we could run it. Salamina is useless and the rest as well, so... Might as well move clear the deck, or enough magic actually. Enough magic is really situational. I actually don't like the Hellbear that much either, because it just trades with the creep. But it's, it, it is better because it's a creep, basically. With too much blue as well. Trafing well can go. Do we need a compel? I think compel is fine. I either want to remove the burning oil or the hellbear. I think we can get rid of the burning oil. Doesn't seem like we have to defend too much. We have got a pretty aggressive flop. I mean, hero quality is pretty good. At least these three. At least these. Yeah. I'm not sure about Kana actually. A lot. It's the most expensive hero. But I'm not sure if it's the best. I mean, sure, prey on the week can be really nice. Get over dimensional portals and then if things get hit, of course. But, yeah. I'm not sure. Corn flag is really good though. Look, <laughs> look at this curve. It's horrible. It's a very early game, but we got like really expensive items as well. So that's that's. Look, mm, that has to be good with gun life. I don't want to have, have at least one of these. I think Vesture is too defensive with uh, this early game deck. I think Helm is fine. I, I don't see how we, how we will generate that much gold. So yeah, I, I think Helm is a bit better than Vesture here. And I think putting both in is a bit too green, especially since we also have Book of the Dead, which goes with Kana and Blink Dagger, which is just a really good item as well. So red looks fine. Three creeps, triple dual. Black is really standard. Double glow, the Disciple Slay. Green has the unfortunately double parlor, but you know. I just really need to mist. We probably don't have it all in the games, right? But still. On blue, we have a lot of creeps. Oh. Let's register. Uh, I don't know. On the one hand, it's really good, but on the other hand, it's rainbow, so it's really unreliable. 
it's difficult to play in certain lanes. Um, luckily I have a blink dagger so I can at least move around a little bit. Um, but I think we should be able to get three wins with this. We will see. Alright, let's uh, hop into the first match. It's actually maybe the first time that I actually got Kana in, uh, in my deck. Or in my draft run. So not sure if how, how good it is, uh, how good Kana is to begin with. Of course, running problems in all of your other lanes, way right? because you don't have any creep spawns there. Not sure if that's a problem or not. I mean, Kana really synergizes as well with with their signature card. But I don't know. If there's like a, a burning oil, then Kana is pretty bad. Because all the creeps are just uh, feeding. And if there's uh, area effects like a tower barrage or thunderstorms, the white lanes just get destroyed and your opponent has a lot of gold. So I think Kana is very risky in that sense. It's it's very good card in constructed to be for sure. It's very nice that you can control the creeps, but your opponent also knows that, that that's where the creeps are gonna go. I have a bit of mixed feelings, but when I saw Kana, I was like, yeah, let's let's take her. Has to be fun to try out sometimes. I mean, I'm at the stage where I sometimes also experiment in the in the draft runs just to see, you know, if it works out or not. Same as I did with uh, with rainbow decks earlier on. I always used to hate rainbow, but sometimes it's just the best you can can get. I mean, I could go Keith, but then you have uh, you know a couple of fighting instinct, maybe burning oil and. Rising anger or something, and spot weakness, but that's that's a horrible. Run. Well, now with with blue, you get like conflict and triple dimensional portal, so and a good hero. Let's not forget that. Because I think that was my only option: going double red or uh, sticking with with blue. I think if if I could do uh, do over the run. I probably would not have picked Legion Commander, I probably would have picked Lich, and then got some more black cards. Then I would have picked double Eglody in the first uh, in the first pick, so we had an extra Eglody then. And now with Lich, you I also had some late game, because I have nothing that costs more than 5 mana, or 6 mana. 3 coup de grass, an ogre, and a, a soothsayer. Alright, we finally found someone. <laughs> April, well it's May, so. <laughs> Luna and Ogre and Sniper, actually all of his heroes are insane, like an Entrant as well, so this is good, this is not so good, so hopefully I get a duel, I don't. Please play the, the Legion, Legionnaire. It's taking him, oh he already has lost connection. It's weird. Let's do that. Against us. Pick up his connection back, I guess. Hopefully, he doesn't have a mask or something stupid like that. Juke. Green doesn't have that much. 
I'm not sure why I want to play Kana, I think the first lane. Um, but I'm not too sure about that. Oh, I do rebel. I'll give my life for the rebellion. I'm still getting four damage here. But at least the creep survives. Not a great start. I'll get their attention. At least I have uh, creeps here. Gunner's really good because it, the loosened beam gives me uh, damages stuff and then prey on the weak is pretty good. Guess we'll take a sword. Just in case we get a duel or something. Ah, he's gonna die. I guess I'm really about to trade, but it's not great. I think he's gonna go first lane. Yeah, I can put the Prado there and switch so um, Farvan gets extra health, I guess. Oh, that's a really bad pickup. You never had a chance. Ignite in the last lane, that's uh, rough. I'm not afraid of war. It's getting quite some uh, charges already. Yeah, if he has a wolf, that will be quite annoying for me. Probably has a creep there. Vengeance will be mine. Okay. I get better every day. I needed to do this. Three progress, really awkward hand. Yeah, I'm sure he'll play something there, which is fine. The annoying thing is this is gonna die. Is it like this? Because at least I don't die to the to the ignite. Yeah, we'll take the ring just for the for here. Very interesting. Let's see if he has the eclipse already. Can we ever AD? That's a question. Because with arm, it gets attracted, right? I'm not afraid to pick up arms. Do I duel? How much damage do I push with duel? Not too much, yeah. See if he does something else. If you would have had Eclipse, you would have played it now. I don't think it's worth it yet for him. Plays a Hellfight on my might. Does Under Rebellion do much there? Not really. It kills these two creeps, I guess. And now I do one. Too much value there. Yeah, 
Yeah, the dog is a, a problem. Arm doesn't do much. Not at all. It's quite annoying. Perfect. I can I cannot deal with it, with the wolves. <clears throat> I need to take down other lanes uh, as fast as possible. <clears throat> Unless I get a helm, uh, I have no way to deal with the wolves. Unfortunately. And they're getting pretty big. <clears throat> so I really need a helm. But I don't have the gold for it yet, so... The heal is okay. This is really bad for me. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna get through like ever. <clears throat> so I need to AD him before he ADs me. This is a little bit difficult. Okay, conflict, that's a good pickup. That's what we needed here. <clears throat> Maybe I should have healed the Legion, but I'm actually okay with the <laughs> Legion dying there. He has a health item, maybe. Okay. Well, that locks <laughs> locks my options. I would really prefer yeah, I'm gonna keep keep the flask for uh, first lane. Uh, sorry for the farm. Um, That's annoying. The wolves are still gonna live. Uh, for now. He's gonna shoot that probably. I don't care. It dies anyway next turn. <laughs> the sniper's gonna die on the upkeep. Then I'm gonna have trouble to defend the the mid lane in the current state. With all my rebellion, I heal up next turn. Uh, no, I don't. But I just block, I guess. Very few cards here. And I probably has assassinate. I I don't see how how I'm going to win this. To be honest, not even with coup de gras and stuff like that. Pretty uh, poor draws, like a lot of brawlers. I think he's gonna assassinate my PA and then just take the right lane. I need a coup de gras. Okay. Then I'm gonna AD here. He put his blue heroes away, which is really weird. My 
really weird actually. Now I think of it. Yeah, you can eat clip from your mid and on the right, I guess. But with Armor Rebellion, on the left lane, I can AD, right? He's gonna eat clips here, I think. And probably on the right as well. Oh, he's not. Stop. Oh, no, I wanna kill the Ogre. Like, at least bait out an item. Of course. This is perfect. I don't know if I actually want him to live. One card left. But how is he gonna stop it? This lane. I'm getting two more creeps and on the rebellion. He should have played Luna on the left and played Eclipse there. I think he really had this game. I don't know what's... Unless he has a DP. But he doesn't. Taking more lab. Good boy, yeah. Okay, maybe not so good boy. So... Yeah, sure, whatever. He could have easily won this if he played Luna on the first lane and then played Eclipse there. On the wall. Star lining to concede. There's nothing you can have, right? Intimidate. You can intimidate yourself out. Such a weird play. I think he threw the game here because he I had such a far stronger deck. He should either have played assassinate. It doesn't matter. Game is over. And he should know. I think the creep doesn't even matter. Oh, he's taking the most almost the most damage possible. Still doesn't matter. Imagine though that you lose because of he spawns in front of the Legion and then the second highest damage arrows into it. <laughs> GG though, I, I think it's because of his because of his misplays. Yeah, if you had either assassinated something. Double friendly firing attack and also a con flag. This guy had an insane deck. Vesture. This deck is amazing. There's a bit too many too many cards, but none of them are really bad. No, he's actually really decent card quality. Like all of his cards are good. Guess GG, nice first win with this rainbow deck. Alright, let's uh, open to the second match. First one actually didn't go that well. So I think we should be happy with two or three wins. It's just, yeah, it's too much early game. And then you don't have a lot of powerful stuff left uh, for like mana seven. And after. It just seems. Uh, Seemed bad. But I didn't draw in most of my stronger cards. I had no prey on the weeks. I did have conflict, that helped. The green is quite bad. The ogre is okay. Yeah, I don't know. It, it looks a bit stronger than it is if you see this lineup. That's kind of what, what's happening. I mean, we were just able to win because my opponent played 
pretty poorly. I think that's the main reason. On the other hand, he did really have good heroes. Uh, Lycan, Treant, Luna, Sniper. It's like an amazing lineup. And over. Yeah. You, sh you should go 5 wins with that deck. With that deck. And he loses against, uh, I don't know. I guess Kana kind of won't be that game. Because the creeps just kept on pressuring the, the first lane. I mean, going AD without like assault letters, on the rebellions, mist, with those kind of power cards is quite rare, especially so early in the game. But yeah. Right, I guess Nazo. <laughs> Again, Luna and Ogre. Now, Bot Seeker, Sola, Beastmaster. I mean, facing pretty strong uh, hero lineups, unfortunately. This is good. This is a game, I guess. Turn 1 missed. For the twins. Hmm. So, where do we play Mist? Basically, in the Kana. Right? So, where do we play Kana? I think we play Kana in the last lane. Right? Here it doesn't help too much. We don't want to play Kana into. We also might want to defend this first lane. Let, let's go first lane. This might be a bit risky. Let's not do anything here. This is very good. I got a creep on there as well. Got double creep on the right. It's risky though to leave that. Okay, that's fine. You're gonna play definitely dimensional portal, and then next turn play on the weak. Oh, there we go. I think I still play the ring just to deny gold there. Yes. I just don't want to give him too many items there. So much is damaged here though. And he lost connection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven dogs. I mean, yeah, sure, if he has like a strafing run or tower garage, it's gonna be horrible. Please don't have any of these stupid. Should I have another dimensional portal first? Because it's so good now. And I can give him so much gold if he has something else. I think I do want to blink back on. Maybe even for the. I hope he goes one right, but you never know. No. I was afraid of that. You 
will not escape me. Yes, Michigan. I think we still go uh, pray. Stupid here, like right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he, he also absorbs four. This will live. That's it. And this will die. That's nice. Do I put blink here? Oh, that's really good for me. I have a double tool. You're putting up a good fight, but it's not enough. Ten gold, that's nice. Next turn it's thunderstorm though. Thunderstorm turn. And Luna turn. I'm fine with that. I want uh, to leave there. I just play the Legion, right? I'll do my part, Commander. Do we duel for? I think so. We want to push damage here. I just want to. Pressure all three lanes. And then get DPM out or something. Look at that. Not sure. You can always blink the other farm out. Such a good position here. I'm ready for combat. What happened? Oh, he uh, pinged one of mine. Really? That's what you're doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can have tower garage. Why play Ignite on the mid lane? Befitting a member of the Dark Moon. I'm honestly curious. The right lane is safe as well. This is just what I need. You have earned yourself a favor. I kind of want to wait for him to play Tower War, but he's not doing it, so. I think we'll just play uh, Dimensional Portal here. Because if he has Tower Barrage, it's just too strong here. Yeah, yeah now the sword doesn't do anything anymore. Yeah, congrats on the kill. This game is, seems over, unless he has Annihilation. But even then... Definitely. He has to go double first. Unless he has annihilation, then he should go somewhere else. But
I have no idea how he's gonna stop this. Eclipse wouldn't do it, yeah, Annihilation would do it, or at any cost. No, but at any cost still has all of my heroes alive. And I have a uh, PA with a bloody coming in. Yeah. GG. If he annihilates... No, he's not gonna annihilate with four heroes there. There's nothing that can stop this. Sure, you can try. Fast mm. sure might get close, I guess. I think that was the item though. Look at the imp. Yeah, that's the power of a uh, mist with Kana, right? Turn one mist and then playing Kana. I could also have gotten the last thing, I think. But I just didn't want to give away this uh, two assault pants. Okay. There we go. Making an insane one. Go. So if there was any doubt, spring this up is pretty good card though. Let's see if we had some uh, strong blue cards that could could have cleared this lane. Yeah, at any cost. That was it. Three dimensional portals, and you, yeah. Clips didn't do much. You should have played Ignite on the first lane. I don't know why he was so greedy to, to play it on the second lane. That was a big misplay. I think he would have survived another turn. Um, and then the Ignite really starts doing work. But okay, GG, nice second match. Okay, let's uh, go for the third match. Been going quite well, especially the first game was really close, and I think I, I won because of my my opponent playing poorly. And the second one was a bit easier. Um, yeah. Although again, my opponents made some misplays, so I'm not sure how good this deck actually is. It looks really good, but against blue, it's really vulnerable. Uh, because Spray of the Week it's only one HP thing, so if they have like a Tower Barrage or maybe even Black with Tinker I mean, I'm facing all the Magi's both of the time, so I should not win those matches because you just play Ignite in the Kana lane Sure, you have one turn where there's a lot of Prey of the Weeks, but then the next turn it gets cleared. And your opponent will have a lot of points. I don't know, I find Kana like kind of a high risk, high reward kind of hero. If they cannot deal with the uh, with the white lanes and the many creeps, it's a very good card. If they have uh, some good lane removal, if they play basically if they play blue, um, or Tinker, I guess, then you're in trouble.
All right. Against, I don't know. Too much, too difficult to something went wrong, and they have a venom answer, which is kind of annoying. Mm. They don't trade. Ooh, that's pretty bad for me. I do have conflict. This is yeah, this is bad. Why do I play Kana though? I think the first lane, but yeah. It's not great. The Bronze Legion stands united. I don't want to play into Ursa. I don't want to play into Bristleback. And I do want to play in a farm lane because I have arm. I could actually do all next turn. I do take the minus one armor. Okay. That, that's not so difficult, right? Don't know why you had to think about that. I couldn't do all this turn actually. Yeah. Pretty poor start there. Yeah, he's going first lane. No? Okay, that's surprising. Tell us what you mean, so he also has a blue heroes. Um, yeah. I don't want to play Kong Flag on this lane. I really don't like the further swipes. Depends. If he's gonna play Venowards, I definitely need to play Kong Flag here. Okay. Still need to do it now. I do, oh, I'm gonna do this. Just to remove some attack and let me keep the armor. The ring is nice, I guess. There's 9 gold. It's kind of annoying. Don't double for in here. I cannot play anything. I probably should some, do something here to contest. <laughs> Guess that's the best I could do. Mist. Okay, now we play Mist back to turn to lane one, or maybe to the last lane. Now we need to play Home Flag. It's just too good here. I hope he doesn't have anything crazy like Thunderstorm. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Primal Roll might be annoying at some point. Or that. Still live. Badly, but I still live. And everything is damaged, so Primal is gonna be good. I understand and that's annoying. Unless he has, of course, like Tower Munch. He's gonna do the thistle. I'm assuming. I can also do it on the right. Do 
Right, he's gonna die eventually. So better ring up here so he doesn't get too much gold. This doesn't do much at all. Just gives me gold. I hope he doesn't have a health item because then Peno just dies and I can take this lady. Seems pretty good. Hmm, that's annoying. Oh. oh wow. Let's see. I cannot even do anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, six things damage. He's going back here. Oh, divine intervention is also very nice. I think I'll go for that here. even more yeah if he has thunderstorm I'm in a lot of trouble Just let me think. I think I want to play it here. So it dodges the Venom Wards next turn. Okay, that's annoying. He's gonna have his lane anyway. Minus more. The Fissile. The Vicious uh, thingy. Not a one. The ogres are so good against one flag. I kind of want to die here. Because this lane is lost. Do I have damage? Yeah, if he has straight with um, no. It's not good, this. Probably get it right. Can actually do all the Ursa and Liv with Legion. Okay, he's going full here. So if he clears me. He got four heroes stuck in this lane. This suits me. I don't know, I didn't. I have knowledge of the future. I just blink and then get out of here. The arm is also pretty good now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can't 
Oh, I can run more. I did not think about that at all. Do you want to though? Let's see if he has it. It doesn't. It's an honor to fight alongside my brothers. So strange. I kind of want to do this still. Hello. Sure, it's not great, but I at least push a little bit there. Should I get him back to the first lane? Probably right. I can always do it next turn. I will face danger head on. No, I, I don't think it's worth it here. That's okay. Here you just play the cypher right to push damage. Sixteen volts. Not enough for helm. How do I need a little bit of heal on the right, maybe? No, I don't care. Just need to play arm, I guess. Look at the arrows, like, or oh, at least this, I guess. I know it changed. Just play without the cleric. No, I need. I kind of want to stop damage as well. It's fine. I'm not here to cuddle. I'm here to fight. I think I'm fine. Oh, well, there's two more heroes. That's not great, but... The arm puts him at one, unfortunately. And push six. Who can stand against us? We win? Die together. Six more gold. It's enough for the helm if I get it. It's a big if, but you know.
He's gonna have five heroes in this lane next turn. Do I probably want initiative to play at least one dimensional portal before I get primal rock? That's kind of bad for me. Primal Roll might still... No, I can never do that much. It's kind of bad that two heroes got stuck in this lane. He had zero here and he's still taking it. Oh, there's that one. Double deploy there. Yeah, immediately play dimensional four we have to. Kana's also dying. I will show them the strength. So if you play Thunderstorm, I still win. Because I have double one of them will still hit. Yeah, these two will still go. He has three mana, we would have, have three mana left for Call of the Wild and the second crew. Okay, that's... Then you should play it first. You can play Primal War. But then he only has two mana left. And strafing on the does Not do it. Let's see if he plays Brown War here, I still have. I don't know. There's very few odds for him. Three creeps. Now he has two mana left and he needs to block three creeps. Uh, now he needs to block this and this. I don't think that's gonna be possible. Oh, That was a good item. Um, he still needs to block two. Yeah, GG. It was uh, a bit close this one. Beastmaster is kind of annoying. They can just throw you out of the lane. Uh, double ogre was uh, insane. They just could, they could just take the lane. I don't think you should run double helm. One is usually enough. I can understand with aggressive heroes you might get some gold early on. Always had enough for mine. I have the feeling that the uh, Helm of the Dominator in my deck is actually a little bit bad because I can't get to it. I've, had, I've played three matches and I haven't had a single coup de gras. I didn't even draw one. I don't think. But yeah, GG. Okay, let's uh, hop into the fourth match with this uh, fun rainbow deck, I guess. I mean, each game I'm thinking, should I play Bray on the week or not? And I'm, I'm facing blue every every match so far, so they can have all kinds of things that make it so bad. They can have Thunderstorm, Thor Barrage, yeah, usually those two. Or Ignites, of course, with Ogres. It's been very tiring actually. 
and my PA has been quite bad. Sometimes in the glory disciple, but yeah. It's so weird that no 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 coup de grass. Oh well. I'm already happy with my three wins. I think the last two games, Mr. Van Burn has definitely won me. Would have been difficult without it. Although Gone Flag is also very good. Um, it didn't really help against uh, the double ogre. That's why the, the red creeps are very good. Like Stonehall Elite, Bronze Legionnaire, Ogre, Conscript, they all have two armor. Um, makes it very difficult to, to clear. I actually think Ignite is a bit better. Sure does hold, but it does piercing, so... It's also quite some heroes with armor, and if you have like Farvin and stuff... Or Treyant... It also stops it. Or at least one, but it gives me also two. Not sure. Or imagine like a Verdant... From Enchantress. Alright. Against Mr. Anonymous. A lot of black. Bounty, especially Bounty is kind of strong. Lion can be annoying, but it usually only gets to use his power once. So. Not a lot of uh, playable cards here. Let's see if he procs. That will be annoying. Okay. That's fine. I think we play uh the first thing. Uh, always happens. Like I don't even know why I even try. It is fifty percent of the time, but it hits almost every time. Lame. Yeah, of course he wants to save his... Uh... I have to think... Um, which lane I want to go. I even want to go last lane. He doesn't have... Um... He doesn't have board clear, so I, I should be able to take the lane that's like... He cannot do anything about this. This is a bit unfortunate. I was hoping to pick up a green card here. Missed. We will play Miss next turn on the last thing. I expected that. We're gonna play Dimensional Portal. That's not happening though. I'm ready to stand with the vent. I'm gonna play Dimensional Portal, then Farvan on the first or second lane, with Mist on the last lane, and then play Prey on the Weak on the last lane. And then we're just gonna AD him. That's the plan. Uh, okay. Now that's how, how far these plans go. Not very far, apparently. Only really has a, a little bit of mana left. I need something on late right? Or do I just want to go like all in there?
Does he have anything? I just need to protect the other main mind. Do I want to play Murder Pot here? Let's see. Now oh, he's going double mid. Interesting. Come on. <laughs> At least draw, of course he procs again. At least draw coup de grace. So much gold for him. Ah, but he has not too much now. The question is which lane can I defend? Doesn't look good for either one of them. Never stop training. At the moment. What is better armor? Ooh, that's a misplay, I think. Eh. I'm gonna could grab the first lane and then play all my heroes on the first lane to defend there. Bring me my um one, two, three, four, five. This is the best I'm gonna get here. I don't need help in this lane, although uh, arm, <laughs> arm will be pretty interesting. Hmm. Let's buy some stuff so we can uh, throw it away with Kudiba. Yeah, this lane is gonna get aided in, in two turns. So I just need to defend the first lane with everything I got. Specialty. Only play one card there. I know how to use this. You think you can AD me here? No. You think I can AD next turn? So who do I duel? Probably the Wyvern. It's the only one I can actually. Can I AD here? That's a good question. I think I. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it will be 24 extra damage. On top of the 41. Plus another 12, it's 36. I think maybe. I think we have to try. Plus two more creeps at spawn. I think I can AD next turn. If he doesn't defend. If there's no creep spawn here. Oh, come on. And there isn't one, so let's do it. I'm gonna duel the wiper. And then I'm gonna 80 on the right. There's no way you can do 35. You might have a blink, but even then. No. Then I have to choose one of my heroes. A bit confused then. I can't play clear the deck. Okay. I didn't have it yet there. But I think he knew he never had the, the first lane next turn either, so... Ooh, that was uh, a bit exciting, but definitely fun. I mean, this is the deck where you can go insane with uh, Kana, right? There's nothing in green and black that can handle white lanes. Uh, and power is the most annoying thing, I guess. But other than that, they really have difficulty... ...handling these lanes, especially with dimensional portals, praying the weeds, and the gamma passive. Yeah. 
That was a good example of the deck I want, <laughs> the decks I want to play. Foro, GG. Okay, let's uh, go for the fifth match. I don't know if this is a perfect run deck. It can be if you face like someone someone without blue, it's definitely doable. You just play Kana and maybe uh, on the rebellion, pray on the weak, and we should be fine. Against decks with blue, it will be difficult. I also wonder whether we should flop Kana, but like, you kind of want to play blue hero um, in a lane you know, where you want the creeps to spawn. You usually want one turn to find out where, which one you want to take. Which is often the first thing, but not always. Okay. Against Atlethan. Oof. <laughs> Only blue. And Prelix as well. Over Luna Zeus. It's, uh, he's gonna be too good against me. I have a really good flop though. But this is not so good. But the other two are re really nice. Now I have double coup de gras. Of course, he has these kind of stupid things. Why well, he has another, another one? Ah, come on! You gotta be kidding me! I just want to give up because this is really pissing me off. I should have double kills, and then he has like double cutting plan, which really annoys me. Yeah, this is really annoying. You're a zealot, Relix. We will make the wicked kneel. Come on. And of course, now he has a creep, probably. Now I draw the wall. Yeah. Like the best creep you could have here. We have to play Disciple. Uh, he dies next turn. I'm having a horrible uh, everything basically. He has blue and he's actually winning. Like, winning the early game. This is insane if you think about it. I should be winning the early game. I know my priorities. <laughs> Allow me to beguile your senses. I kinda wanna do all here. But then I cannot play prey on the weak. No, I cannot play Prey on the Week in, into Ignite. I have something special in store for you. I'll make this wow. Why does he... He has an answer to everything. One HP left there. The only thing he's missing now is a heal for the Legion Command. Okay, there we go. I, I said nothing. He just has it. How how can I? Sometimes everything is like going horribly wrong. Even as Luna is outplaying my uh, Legion at one HP, I should have done something there. I can do something here. How, how do I face the barracks though? Now I 
finish bad cards. I think we'll get rid of that man. What does a Prowler do here? Nothing, basically. I'm giving him so much gold though. <laughs> he, he has like everything here. I, I hate this game already. I really need to push the damage here. But if he has another board clear, this game is over. Three. Should I just do this and go full for the first lane? How can I be of service? You've been chosen. Don't fight it. This lane I, ca I cannot contest. Triple uh, barracks. He's gonna have so much gold though. I need a D Magic in more basically. Why? Why? I should could have got the Legion next turn. He's playing really bad, actually. Why go double blue there? It makes zero sense. How many of my creeps survive? Not enough to. Yeah. He's actually going to too wide for me. This thing that it stays stuck at 1 HP, it's horrible. This couldn't come at a better time. And for my next yeah, if he has this lane, it's over. And it's very likely that he does. Ooh, red mist. It makes no difference. I don't know how I'm gonna defend this. I think he had a lot of misplays to be honest. Yeah, I'll probably uh, play Thunder Gods, even though it doesn't help that much. He doesn't have this lane yet. I cannot defend that either. Three, three. How does he have three there? It's just luck, right? Yeah, it is. 
Ah, there's no way for me to do anything here. Not even with good arrows now. Yeah, this game is over. Uh, I don't really don't want to queue up against him again. I hope that was his last win. I'm really complaining about this game, but he had everything. <laughs> Town of Triumph, he didn't even need it. Sp like, Legion, Spring Attack, Town of Triumph, three Ogres, a Red Mist, and a Stone Warrior Elite. There's way too many red cards as well. Okay, GG though. I'm a bit salty after this. Okay, let's uh, hop into the last game and let's hope it's not the same opponent as last turn. She just got really lucky. I think it's the same guy probably, yeah? I should have waited. At least... Um, I should have waited. This is a really difficult matchup. Let's hope he doesn't have coming plan, double coming plan this, uh, this game. That would already be nice. I'm willing to die for what I believe. But knowing that he is time of triumph is a bit annoying. Apparently, the week's pretty good there. Before he can handle it. I really would have liked the duel. Let's see if he has another coming plan. Multi cards, maybe. Even. He doesn't have it, so. At least that's something. I don't need to heal. I do want the helm. I didn't check for Tower Barrage, but we could have Cunning Plan and Tower Barrage. Okay, Compel. That means a lot of damage for me. I already think he's a whole lot less lucky at this moment. Blink dagger. If I get an arm now, that would be good. That's good, man. I don't know what he has here. That's annoying. I do like the cleric now here. I can stand here all day. Okay, of course you do. Would you strike down your own mother? I really want to kill uh, Kana. Doesn't do much. This is just what I need. So now I'm gonna getting the upper hand because I get the early finally get the early kills here. Might not have it here. Might do on me. 
Don't see the value though. Could play divine intervention here. No, I like it on that uh, lane. Why not save cunning plan for here? It was useless on the first thing. Right? It Prelix still died regardless. Okay. I'm actually fine with this. Kill the ogre still over two turns, and it's one for one, and it cost him a card. So, okay. I guess, yeah, it's kind of it's 18 gold now. No, I wanted the helm. Just uh, define. Yeah, it sure is health items here. What do I pray on the week? It's one, two, three, four, five. No, I do like. Be sure to push 12 here is quite nice, I guess. Yeah, I expected that he had something like that. Doesn't matter too much. Yeah, I'm sure he has something here as well. Okay. I guess that does it. Multicast, the ogre is killing me, literally, here, come on. Between the two of us, we can figure out how to use this thing. I could, could grab that. Mortals make the most intriguing things. <laughs> yeah, now it's getting annoying with the barracks. Well. I probably want to could the grab the ogre. On mid. Where are my good items? And then the ogre on the right. And then I hope that I don't throw away the ogre. Missed. Let's first look up. Use at any cost, right? My victory draws closer. Maybe we could grab the products. Okay, so no more Eclipse. just don't have it, the damage here. It's kind of annoying. I do really need it first.
It's all bad, right? Yeah. Still. Oh, he also is bringing back a guy. I'm just gonna kill the Luna. Who's stopping me to 80 there, actually? Doesn't have yields. This eclipse has three charges. Has to be lucky then. If I draw an on the rebellion, he is like in trouble. Over. 15. It's gonna get diff difficult there. Yeah. Not sure where I can get through. Like, where are my... Where are the cards that I need? Honestly. Look at those arrows, as well, right? do all those away so eclipses are still going to be extremely good I need to disciple the first thing dual doesn't kill him I gotta bait something, I guess. I Come on, Musk. Um, this joke is enough. Ready for war. I can do all this thing away. It's not bad, actually. Scary for him. Alessano said you could use some help to me. I'm sorry, Commander. It doesn't do it right now. I still have left. Do I need that on the first lane, maybe? I kind of want to trick him into... I can still blink away. He can also do that, actually. He might go first lane with uh, Luna, yeah.
Um, I need another prey. I don't know if that's what you want. I think that was a misplay. And a pretty big one at that. Now he's in trouble. Yeah, I take the first lane. Right? Do I have enough? Yeah, more than enough. See how your hand is Death comes for you. Strike swift and assured. 86. Oh, he misplayed so hard. He got punished. Oh, I love this game. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, he played so poorly there. He has two tower rises and double at any cost. And it's still one with Kana and like the sick lane. Yeah, he, he played really poorly. He should have just played Eclipse on that first lane. I don't know. This was just greedy. I, I think he probably thought that he was safe. I don't know. Not sure. You never know because you don't know what their hands are, right? So he was. I was doing a lot of trouble to pretend like the last lane was uh, in danger. And I guess it was a little bit, but I knew it, I wouldn't get it next turn, and maybe not even the turn after that. He had barracks, so it's that really difficult to get through. And if I double deployed in the last lane, I, I still wouldn't have gotten it, probably. I don't think so. Oof. Perfect run with the rainbow deck. Very nice. I did really enjoy to play Kana, but it's extremely tiring because each time you think, will they have a tower barrage? Will they have a thunderstorm? Maybe even a strafing run. It's very difficult to uh, to anticipate because you, in draft you cannot see the opponent's decks. Um, and four out of these five wins I played against blue, so... Um, and I think against... In four of the six matches I played, played against Ogre Magi with Ignites. It's all in all extremely... Uh, extremely difficult. In the matchups that I had. Against the, the, the guy with green-black, it was very easy. Um, so yeah. Kana definitely a good hero, very interesting, um, but also high high risk, high reward kind of hero. So we managed to to get five wins, so I'm really happy with that, especially because it's a rainbow deck. So I hope you uh, you guys enjoyed this uh, this one just as much as I did, because I really had fun. So see you guys next time, and thank you guys for watching.